Welcome to the Pillow Talking Podcast. It's your boy JT. And Nini. And this is our one and only episode dedicated to our new president. I'm sorry, sweetie. It won't be a remix to my president's black that you can make. <laughs> I'm sorry. No remix here because Donald J. Trump. <laughs> I love how you started using his whole name. Back. To this day. (laughs) To this day. (laughs) (laughs) Hey. Like, it's hilarious. We've we've been here before. Let's just say that. Let's start there. Yeah. Hey, guys, we've been here before. Okay. I remember. We made it, though. We made it. Um, Let's take a deep breath, okay? Um, Yes. It's okay. Okay, um, if you don't know, Donald J. Trump was elected to be the next president of the United States of America um, for the second time. I think he's one of only two presidents who <laughs> didn't serve consecutive terms. Um, yeah, and I mean, yeah, I mean, I saw this coming. Honestly, mm-hmm. I f- just to be honest, to start Kamala, you know, what, 100 Days before the election, just throw her into a, a campaign. It was it was set up to fail. Yeah, and also I feel it like could, honestly, if we, let's just be real for a second. Um, I felt like the party itself lost touch of what you know. Values. They just yeah, they just was like everything was just so left to the <laughs> to a point where it was like, what are we? You're, what are you're we talking doing? about people are struggling to eat. Yeah. People are struggling to pay bills, and you are so far from that narrative yeah. that people can't even connect. Like we're talking about mm-hmm. things that, like, let's just say, for example, the the big three: of immigration, abortion, overseas wars. Mm-hmm. Some of the bigger topics besides the economy, obviously. Yeah, it's hard to care about that stuff. Not saying that people don't mm-hmm. when they can't. They don't know if they don't have a place to live. Or right. if they can afford food. Right. And I feel like so much of this political climate was not touching the everyday needs of people. Yeah. I and agree. um that that's my biggest takeaway. I mean, it's it's so much I know people obviously, you know, anytime you have an election, there's gonna be a lot of feelings and people are gonna be like <laughs> feeling yeah. hopeless and yeah. the people who want are feeling like they're the kings of the world. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we're all just Americans. That's it. And a part of our democracy is that one party or one person will lose and one will win. Mm-hmm. But it, in the day, they still don't have to work together. Especially yeah. in D.C., most of these polit- politicians who fight for years, mm-hmm. the, the moment they take office, they're now working with the same person they were just you know, against. Right. So, yeah, we have yeah. to be honest and say, okay, yeah, it's time to move Dust forward. your hands and let's go for it, yeah. Right. Put our minds together. But Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I I watched this election, but I went to sleep. It, it was to a point where I, I was like, now, mm-hmm. I remember watching the 2020 election. I stayed up there all night because, it, to me, that one was more of a, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Like, like, and at the time you're dealing with COVID, you're dealing with all this yeah. stuff. The 2020 election seemed to be. It was a lot, yeah. Yeah, but anyway, uh, I did want to play this clip, uh, a piece of it. Um, Charlemagne, see what I can get to play. Uh, I don't think this is it. Uh, wrong, wrong clip, but sorry, guys. Been a while, been a while since I, um, since I used my. Um, roadcaster, but oh yeah, here we go. You know, spreading false lies. I'm like, so this is the Breakfast Club. They're asking people a question about the election that I want to have. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Lauren Larosa filling in for Jess. If you're just joining us, we're opening up the phone lines 800 585 1051. Now, yesterday after election, you've seen a lot of people upset, a lot of people are mad. I people have been posting that. They're going to unfollow people that voted for the other party. Uh, They're not going to speak to them anymore. They don't want nothing to do with people that voted uh, for Trump. That's most of it. And people are pissed off about it. So we're asking 800-585-1051. What are your thoughts? Let's start with you, Lauren. What do you think? So let's start with you, Dom. What are your thoughts on that? Like, how do you feel? You've seen that people are like, man, I'm not friending you. I don't want to see you. If you vote, like, how do you feel about that? (laughs) 
I feel like we are we we just have to take our emotions out of it. At the end of the day, it's really emotions. It's really um, a heated moment that we wanted something to happen and it didn't. And we might have felt strongly that, you know, our party was right. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that didn't happen. And so now we upset and we got to, we trying to figure out how to, you know, ease the pain and take it, hold on somebody. That's what I really feel like. And so now I'm just blocking everybody who's celebrating. Cause really I want to be the one celebrating. Like I wish that my party would have won. And I think that's what it really is. Like if, if I feel like if people would have just been quiet until two weeks from now or whatever, them same people who voted, who said, Oh, I voted for Trump. Like, Think about five months from now. If somebody be like, yeah, I voted for Trump, you're not going to be as mad, right? Because yeah, it's, it's or whatever. You, yeah, you're in it. Don't, but care. the day after, you're nervous, you're scared, you don't know what's going to happen, you've been listening right. to all this stuff, you freaking out. Right. So it's just heated moments is what I feel like, and people are forgetting that people are people, right? That Okay, but my here, here's my thing. Here's my, my takeaway. I don't think people want, when they start saying, I, I'm, I'm going to, if you voted for Trump, I'm not your friend. I'm blocking you. Even even if we're family, I don't want to talk to you. I'm like, do you really want friends and family? Or do you want somebody, an echo chamber full of people who say the same thing you do, Mm -hmm. believe the same way you believe, and never say anything conflicting? Combative to what you're saying. Yeah, like, at some point. I don't want no life like that. I don't (laughs) want to be surrounded by people that all believe the same as me. Mm -mm. I need difference in character. And honestly, I understand why. Good people can say, you know what, I don't, I, I I'm, I'm Democratic or I'm Republican, yeah, because a yeah. big part of this partisan thing is to get you emotionally mm-hmm. invested, it's spiritually invested. Your heart. If you if you Man, think you about it, a lot of what they're doing, <laughs> a lot of what we see the commercials is to get us spiritually invested and yep. emotionally invested, yep. because you can control those two things. You can take logic out of it. And let me say something, I. I'm just looking at the parties and I remember watching, for instance, like the Republican parties and saying, and, and people f- who voted for or wanted to vote Republican, they were saying, oh, blues, demonic, that's demonic, whatever. But then at that same time, I noticed that the blue party, the Democrat party was going into churches at the same time and try to, I guess, try to get ahead of the narrative. No, it's not that they're trying to get ahead of the narrative. It's the fact that, they okay, so most Democratic parties go to the black church. Yes, let's be clear. Absolutely. Because they mm-hmm. understand the, the plight of many black people. Yeah. Not all. Yeah. But we even but and let me say this really. our community, one yeah. thing about our culture is that we typically look out for each other. Yeah. And we understand that we all are we all some share some yeah. some root to a very traumatic past. Yes. So obviously we, we try to connect on that basis and not let people in our community be left behind. We don't want we don't want our schools uh, ignored. We don't want our women ignored, our children ignored. Mm-hmm. So as a community, they know if we can get the black community to mm-hmm. believe that we are fighting with them. Yeah. That's we that's their them. goal. Yeah. Now, it could be some truth in it, mm-hmm. but they understand that's the angle for our vote. It's mm-hmm. to get us to believe that they are We're working to fight the against the man. Yeah. Because that's that's been our biggest uphill climb mm-hmm. in this country. Yeah. It's it's never been like if you look at our community, it's that's our biggest it's fight. Not, it's yeah. always <laughs> been fighting for justice, fighting for equality. Yeah. And fighting and and fighting to for some our voices, point, yeah. fighting just to be left alone sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Like, hey, yeah. to live. Po- just let us live. Like, mm. so give us a fair chance to just live. We don't even want the handouts. Right. Just don't get in our way when we start yeah. making major steps. Leave us alone. Yeah. Yeah. So I think a big part of both parties' thing is to demonize the other candidate. Absolutely. 100%. Because, like I said, if they can convince you spiritually that the other party <laughs> Ooh, is a devil, they got you. You're done. You're done. You're done because now oh my God. it's easy to say so to say, I hate a devil. Mm-hmm. Even people who, say, who never use hate, hate but or they'll say that they'll yeah. curse the devil. Oh, so yeah. if I can convince you that this candidate is the devil, mm-hmm. this party is the devil, yep. and it goes both both ways. But, the yeah. white evan- evangelical mm-hmm. church says the Democratic Party is the devil. <laughs> yeah, that's why they can say what they say about That's the party true. and never even consider maybe 
there are some some uh, some yeah. good people over there who how can that be? why why it, this is how this is even growing up I was like hey and this is me 14 15 just starting to really get you know this is cuz no I couldn't vote for the Obama elect either Obama or election I was too young yeah but I remember saying why do people hate the democratic party I remember thinking not necessarily why they hate Obama but I was hearing people say oh never vote no, for a democrat. Not like democrat and I would be like man it's churches fighting other church leaders who believe yeah. the same God, mm-hmm. it's the same Bible. Yeah. Why that? Like somebody like that is what we have to realize that hey, maybe we're being manipulated. <laughs> we yeah. serve the same God, Come have on. the same Bible, yeah. follow the same Come religious on. practice. We go to church on Sundays. We just you know our churches are just segregated on Sundays. Mm-hmm. How are we so anti when it comes to politics? It makes sense. And we've, like, so our white evangelical friends demonize the Democratic Party. And then our most, not all, but some of the black churches say, you know, demonize the Republican Party. Mm-hmm. How does that happen? Are we not serving the same God? Right. Are we serving the same God, but we have different, you know, systemic or socioeconomic, you know, lenses on the Bible or how we look at things? Mm-hmm. That that is a better discussion than just spewing out hate. Right. Like, how do we get to a place? Like, why are we this way? Why? <laughs> why are like, we let's doing have this? that discussion. Yeah. Let's stop the emotional rants yeah, and I don't want to talk to out. you. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Let's figure out how we went to the same schools together. Yeah. We went to the same college. We work at the same place. Mm-hmm. We go to the same gyms. We all want generally the same we life. Are friends in Most life, people like, want to go to work, yeah. take care of their families advance their careers Mm -hmm. make money pass down like we all have the same goals but yet our political views are completely different so let's have that conversation yeah that is the conversation that i think will move our politics Mm -hmm. way beyond partisan lines because at the end of the day like i always say i feel like the correct answer to most of these problems is a bipartisan answer we yeah. need some values and some beliefs from the conservative Each. side mm-hmm. and the democratic Absolutely. side. If they could work together, oh my god, we'd be great. Every every bill that mm. that I'm not I don't say every bill, but most bills where it's like a united, you know, they work together. Like yeah. during COVID, when they were starting to like, hey, hey, this is serious. We gotta come on. Let's <laughs> yeah. What we what we doing? Like. <laughs> Yeah. That's when you start to see progress. And it was unity. It looked great. It looks good when you can. Yeah. And that, that, I feel like that's a better conversation. So when I see people saying, oh, I'm going to block you, I'm going to do it. First off, in my opinion, it is one very childish and immature to announce that you're blocking people. <laughs> yeah. Like that's Two, childish. to block people that you're going to see in real life. And, 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 and talk to. That's childish. <laughs> you blocking people you work with. You go out to see and work with them. Say, hey. You blocking your actual blood relatives. Make it makes sense. That's crazy. Over uh, an election. That's crazy. In, in two and two months the, now, and, you're and, not going to be worried the, about the, that. The craziest part about the election, the, the same people, like uh, I saw uh, Vice President Kamala gave her concession yeah, speech. Barack Obama, Obama gave his. They're all going to be working together very it's soon people, yeah. in the same city. Mm-hmm. They're going to be working together going toward goals and trying to work on bills and push things together. Yeah. And we're sitting here at odds. It's crazy. <laughs> That's how I feel. Don't make sense. Also, uh, something I saw that really bothered me. Two things, really. One, the how quickly black men became. Oh, my. That, did, that Bro, bothered me, too. I went honestly. to sleep. And it, the I, like I said, I didn't stay up for the whole election. I went to sleep mm-hmm. when I think. I, I went to sleep before, like, the swing states were even decided. Like, I was like, you know what? I'm not about to sit here and watch. Votes come in right. slowly. I still don't know how in America our votes take so long to get counted. <laughs> Matter of fact, we were talking about the voting booths we use. I felt like I was at a museum. Boy, like I was like, I felt like I was in nineteen. I was like, bro. where are the iPads so I can just click it? Like, what is this voting? Choo, choo. Yeah. <laughs> That's how that button sound like. Why this don't on? feel secure? Like I'm be yeah. real with you. But anyway, um, I went to sleep. The elections. Not decided yet. I wake up and black men are being blamed for her losing. 
hard down. And it is and I know the algorithm how it works. It's gonna show you stuff that you will interact with. Mm. So as a black man, let's go put it all in my feed. Oh yeah. So I'm just scrolling. Black men let us down. It was wild. Oh y'all black men don't call Twitter. Well, y'all black men don't do this. Well, y'all black men. I'm t- y'all black uh, the and black like, woman that like. I went whoa. on a rabbit hole. I'm like, what, what happened on? overnight? So I go, I, I immediately I turn on CNN, I turn on um Fox, I go to all of them like let me check these exit polls that we <laughs> all switched. I look at the exit polls. I'm like, it wasn't us. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, a lot of, like, I will say a lot of black men didn't vote. Yeah. Which, that's always, though. Right? Which I will say this. To their defense, I will say a lot of people were turned off by the idea. Men. So, it's one, mm-hmm. I'm, gonna say, I'm speaking as a man. Yeah. A lot of men were turned off from the, shaming you into voting yeah like you gotta vote or or you not this or you not that and if you don't vote this you like that type of talk to a man you don't talk to no man like that i'm telling you it rubs them the wrong way give them a reason or something an initiative something they can believe in they'll be right there with you but telling them they gotta do this or if they don't do like that that's not the right way to approach men that's why they was like you know what i'm gonna stay out of it yeah you know what? Y'all ain't earned my vote. Right. Y'all trying to take Force my me. vote or tell yeah. me where my vote going. Control me, yeah. Just like when a uh, former president, Bi- well, current president um, Biden got up there and said, "You're not black if you don't b- vote for me." Like that Boy. type of talk. <laughs> that okay. don't that don't sit well with men. I'm, I'm, I'm letting you know. But anyway, yeah. So black men, we didn't, we weren't a determining factor. A lot of people no. didn't vote, and a lot of of the white women and uh, especially the, the Latino community, mm-hmm. that community is what really shifted a lot, the most. Very much so. And I will say um, a lot of women voted for Trump. Like A lot of women voted Republican, should I say. It wasn't necessarily tr- uh, Some of them were just, oh, yeah, Trump, anything. But some people were just like, oh, I'm a revol- Republican. I mean, I want to vote Republican, but a lot of women changed who used to be Democrat. A lot of women changed to Republican. Yep. And that's what I really wanted to talk to women. Like, I wanted to ask, like, why? Like, what is it in the change? Like, what did you, you know, what have you encountered within the last four years that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that made you change. Like, what happened? You know? But, like, yeah, I feel like a lot of women was was, was heavy, hard down. <laughs> Voting for the Republicans, and I could not believe it because it was I, I'll be real. I talked to I. T- I remember I'll, I'll I'll speak on the 2016 election. Yeah. So during the 2016 election, I was working at a news station, so I got to see a lot of um, different voices coming through. And then yeah. obviously, I worked with a lot of women. Yeah. A lot of women. I'm be real. They never will say this out loud, but this was with Hillary Clinton. Mm. A lot of women don't believe women can be the president. Or don't think mm. a lot of them. I'm telling you what I've heard, like. Mm-hmm. This is what I. I I'm not saying mm-hmm. all women. I'm no, saying the some women, women really don't believe that. There are a lot of women true. who's like, hey, I just, uh, yeah. I don't like the the fake mask. It's not giving. Like mm-hmm. you're trying to be like my um, macho. Yeah, woman. macho. Like yeah. Especially this is. I'm talking about with Hillary Clinton. Yeah, this was the he, She really was trying to be and that rubbed women that the wrong way. Was weird. Yeah, I did not like that either. I didn't like her whole approach to campaigning i feel like it was right. very masculine and like what's the point of voting in a woman right. if you're not gonna be a, a woman like if you're not gonna stand for what woman femininity is like yeah. what are you doing like you know and yeah. i think now i'll be honest i think uh vice president uh kamala could have uh if she would have had a full campaign and yeah. not been just thrown out there or just, put in front of yeah. i feel like she would have been able to really speak to women mm-hmm. Using her background, mm-hmm. using her sorority background, mm-hmm. you, but she didn't have the time. She had a hundred days. Like I know. people don't realize, she had a hundred days to win the election. She had a hundred days and to, and to you got to think about it. She had a hundred days. The fact that this election was even close, which is crazy. That that's great. You got to clap for that. Let me find my 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 applause. <laughs> no, that's not it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Woo! Yes. Thanks. Hey, there we go. That was awesome. The 100 days, child. Y'all wouldn't have saw me. Because <laughs> 100 days, she had to revive <laughs> the Democratic Party from Joe Biden's <laughs> death that he had at that um, the debate. Yeah. Because after that debate, it was 
clear. He had n- even with the <laughs> Democrat, like nobody, nobody was, was voting for, for this man. Yeah. After we watched him sit up there and just stare in the camera, barely can nobody was like, voting. So on? hats off to um to <laughs> uh Kamala for Kamala. for knowing that yeah. for stepping in. I hate yeah. that she has to lose in this fashion and really not get a fair chance to fight. Because like I said, I we didn't even know her policies until what, two weeks into it, yeah. her announcement. And then it felt it felt so disjointed. It felt like you were trying to make up a year or a year and a half worth of campaigning in a hundred days. That's and it felt crazy. like that. She was everywhere every day. Oof. There was no real con- so the fact that she even was able to make strides tells me that if the Democratic Party will come together and figure out how to reconnect to the core issues values, and yes. values that of the Democratic pe- Party. Yes, and not this far leftist movement that yeah. nobody really wants. Or the culture, like yeah, uh, like stop. they chose culture over Absolutely. over just living. <laughs> right. Like, and I, no disrespect to to, to my but, rapper friends yeah. and to uh, we don't want that. We don't. I, we don't I, want. I appreciate the yeah. hard work that that Megan Thee Stallion, yeah. that Glorilla, that Cardi yeah. B. I appreciate and I see their work. I mean, just I. Yeah. We don't want them right now. Right. We, Respectfully. <laughs> right. We don't need we're, and, we're tired of rich. we're tired of influencers. <laughs> yeah. We don't need people to tell us who to vote for. We're right. grown. Mm-hmm. Talk about the issues. Don't get people to say I'm voting for them. We don't need I don't need that. I didn't need it. Maybe maybe I lied. Maybe the younger voting audience, the eighteen to twenty one, maybe they do need influencers. Right. Maybe like maybe that's strategic. But I'm saying for the rest of the world. We didn't need it. Like we didn't eat all of them. Maybe you had one, whatever. Look, I'll but tell you that was a lot. I'll tell you exactly what happened after the um it was the um uh, the the beyond no the car the major stallion when she performed at one of the rallies. My mother called me and was like, What was that? Like <laughs> you don't understand what you're doing when you Dude, put it. certain things on a national stage, how many people you're turning off? Yeah, because now the Bible Belt, now these old the, 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 the people over forty who don't really know, even know who Meg the Stallion right, is, is. <laughs> they're like, "What is going on?" Yeah, and yeah, yeah. even shoot, even me, and I'm in my thirties. I was like, "What just happened?" Right, like that was a turn off, low key. It's like no shade to Megan. Like I said, no shade to the, like he said, no shade to the artists because artists aren't. But man, we're we we're in a political debate. We're in a like this is serious. You know what I mean? Like we ain't having here to have fun. <laughs> like we here right. to talk about problems and figure out solutions. Figure out who gonna do what we need. You know, like and I just felt like that was really a, a hard um, turn off. Also, I felt like the women. Yeah, to explain this. I felt like a lot of women were probably turned off um, because of the choices of women she chose to be faces of her. Yeah, um, I campaign. Yeah, I saw that conversation. And I, was like, and I saw it, a it lot was of more, people saying that it was more of your um, more like contemporary yeah. urban. And I felt like that just crowd th- instead that, of more. Yeah, there it, it was less like. For example, less Oprah's because yeah. we saw Oprah, yeah. but we but saw her it wasn't, late. Yeah, it, like it we, was more so you're like young, like hot. We were waiting 20s. a long time to see Michelle. Yeah, I never did. I see Michelle. I think Michelle did it the rally in Chicago. I want to say, but that's the type of voices need, that connect know? with a certain demographic. Absolutely, and. Those type of people can also, I, I believe that men could maybe also see important women in those women. Like, if that makes sense, like, it can, like, maybe they see their mom and they even know their mom was a strong woman. And, like, maybe yep. they see that her and Oprah, they also like, oh, okay, let me listen to them. You know what I mean? They might have wisdom. You know what I'm saying? But when you put, like, people who cater to the younger audiences in front of 40 and up, yep. how, what am I, what are we doing? Like, they don't get it. <laughs> You turn them off immediately. Right. And honestly. Um, I think at the end when she realized that it was close, I think she tried to jump to the younger audience and really. No, that, if, but that's very common. That's yeah. if you pay attention to politics, yeah. even even Donald Trump did that. Like mm-hmm. he started going on podcasts. He yeah. started going here because once you get those early, like a lot of your, I would say 20, even uh, maybe 27 plus 
do the early voting. Yeah. Under 27, they, mm-hmm. yeah, they not yeah. melanin Under votes. They're not, yeah. they, <laughs> you got to catch that, that college cities. The, mm-hmm. You got to catch them when they have a day off from yeah. school to go vote. Right. Or, and the young people working who not taking off. They, right. You go catch them when they get a day off to go vote. Yeah. Let's be real. Mm-hmm. And so they know a big, that last push, you have to target your uh, election day voters. Mm-hmm. Because you're, you're assuming that most of your that though that demographic is already the early yeah. voted. Like my mama voted the first day it was open. Yeah, she don't do crowds. She don't play that. She <laughs> so and they know, like, they know that too. They see <laughs> they get those results back and they're like, okay, this yeah. is where we got to hit. Um, yeah, last uh, for me the last thing that bothered me. Okay, in twenty sixteen, um, mm. twenty sixteen I remember I was like I said I was at UL. I remember they were doing all kind of stuff after. Donald Trump won on campus. They were spray painting stuff, saying stuff. People was uh, (laughs) making jokes. Child, he was. We, we, (laughs) excuse me, we can't, we, we gotta stop being soft, man. I've seen like two or three people post like full blown adults are in shambles on social media because like somebody, somebody's trolling, sent them a text. Oh, uh, slavery starts Monday. We're picking you up. And they're like, oh my God, look what country we live in, blah, blah, blah. It's crazy because I feel like our own stop race being did that. soft, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't know who did it, but stop being soft. I'm just saying, though, like, it how don't matter who it did. Is. Stop being soft. Chill and then stop. Bro. People, Relax. we're not our ancestors. We're not. Oh my we God. know. Taking it that I, far bro, is wild. Look, just, I'm so serious when I say this. When people be like, I'm not, we're not our ancestors. I'm not my ancestors. I'm like, I know because you're soft. Our ancestors <laughs> stood in front of, of guns, stood in front Baby, of lynchings, dogs. stood in front of dogs. Fire hoses, march was sacrificed. They Ooh. had community. They would walk. They would do whatever. We're yeah, soft. We, are super we soft. can't boycott a br- clothing brand. We can't do anything. We are not our ancestors. We are oh, yeah. only here because of our ancestors. By the grace. So stop saying that like that's something to be proud. Oh, I'm not my ancestor. I wish somebody would tell me. You need to be at this point. What you think our ancestors <laughs> was doing? You think they was just letting people talk to them crazy? <laughs> My grandfather hmm. literally went to the military to avoid yeah. going to jail for life for beating the crap out of somebody for disrespecting his little sister in front of him. Yeah. They were not soft. Don't believe. Please. Yeah, like this, real, this is how I know bro. people are so disconnected so from African touch, history. They think that our yeah, ancestors we were really soft. Need to they think that they just teach that took whatever that they, they, they don't know about any of the fighting. They don't know anything about the, the rebellion. They yeah. don't know about the, the strength of the community. They don't know about the Black Panthers. They don't know about nothing, bro. It's sad. Y'all are so unlearned. Out of touch. Come on. <laughs> out of touch. It's terrible. With your own history. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. Part. So my thing is, this like I said, this is gonna be our only Real podcast about the election. That's why I'm doing all the whole thing is about that. Just dedicating the time to it. Yeah. Last thing mm-hmm. is, as a Christian, hmm. let's let's Jesus. let's just come close. <laughs> this God. world is not our world. It's not our See, final home. This is my temporary home. Yeah, this is not Please, our final home. We Seriously. we we understand that. You know, we. I hope you understand that I hope you do too. America is not the centralized it's country not. of the Bible. America is not God's land. Um, <laughs> the, America is not the end all be all. Yeah. I, I, Ooh, don't fall Lord. for the propaganda. Please. Don't think that. Like, please, like, <laughs> <laughs> please. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, we are a country. We're a great country, a good country to live in, probably one of the best in the world. Mm-hmm. But it stops there. Please don't make an idol of America. Uh, of America, because idolatry is a sin. Okay, come on, somebody. And God hates sin, come on. and I'll leave it at that. Come on, somebody. So I don't want to. If I see another pastor saying that <clears throat> that that Donald Trump is here to save this <clears throat> country, <clears throat> if I and they're saying it from a pastor's perspective, I'm I might go off. Like it truly hurts me whenever they like. Pastors say, "Oh, now we are safe. Our families and friends." Or they are act safe. as if what? electing Donald Trump <laughs> is gonna stop. Yeah, whatever yeah. the that's that's my the, problem. The, the already spoken into this whatever I, the, whatever <laughs> to this, this world to this listen. world like Donald Trump is gonna either stop like he's no, gonna he's turn gonna around gonna from an expected end, and that we it's a book, regardless man. of your how you view your view on the end times, how you feel about it. Donald Trump is not the the the, the magic pause button for mm-hmm. it and fix button. Right, he's not. 
And he also isn't the magic, oh, do something crazy or yeah. end of the world, the one who will bring the end of the world. He's not. Please stop. Okay. So let's just calm down. Take we, a breath. we really just need to, yeah, like, hoosa. Hoosa. And, and lean into God because leaning into each other is not working. And the people, the people who have peace have peace for a reason. Yeah. And if you want, to, if you them. want peace, <laughs> ask for it. Yeah. I'll tell you how to get peace. Yes, please. I found my peace. We we went to bed. You hear me? Went to bed. We went to bed before. We didn't even care. He was like, it looked like maybe Trump might win. I was like, oh, all right, no, I'm going to bed. And like, and it's not from a place of we don't care. It's right. just like I understand. <laughs> That even during COVID, I didn't care. Mm-hmm. Even during this, I didn't care. From a sense of my faith yeah. is built on Christ alone. Period. That's it. Nobody And else. I understand <laughs> that even if times get desolate, times get hard, the promise that I have is that he is with us. Absolutely. Okay. And I hope he's with you. And with that, we will end this podcast. If you have any um Questions about politics, don't ask us. <laughs> Please. <laughs> anyway, good night, y'all. Bye. Good Bye. night, guys.